I told you I wasn't imagining things. I was raped again. This time they found the evidence. That means they can identify the attacker. Yes, we should be able to find the man if he's in one of the available DNA databases. Fancy, are you sure the semen is from the man you say who attacked you? I wasn't having sex with anyone else, if that's what you're implying. Wait a minute. You mean you and Luis haven't made love yet? Um, well, no, Sheridan. We haven't. We were waiting. Well, this rapist made a big mistake when you left DNA evidence behind. Well, criminals are stupid and they make stupid mistakes. I told you I didn't dream it. I was attacked again. It really happened. Uh, well, I better get the semen sample to the lab. You're free to go home if you feel up to it. Oh, thank you, but I'd, I'd like to stay until you find a DNA match. So would I. Can it be done that quickly? It's not likely. Uh, there are dozens of protocols that have to be matched, and I'll have to search through numerous databases. Oh, wait, wait. What if you don't find a match? Well, hey, let's try and think positively. The guy who attacked you repeatedly is probably not a first-time offender, so I bet we find a match. Well, I better get to the... You must be relieved. Relieved about what? Uh, about fancy. I mean, you were so worried that uh, she was imagining all these attacks, that she was either hallucinating or for some strange reason making up the story about being attacked just as a way of gaining attention. I'm not so sure she wasn't. Honey, she's just been subjected to tests that have told us that she was indeed assaulted tonight. Surely this is a good time for you to reconsider your position. What position? The fact that you think that Fancy is mentally unstable and that she might need to be institutionalized. Let's just wait and see what the DNA tests prove. I have a feeling this isn't quite over yet. I, I don't follow you. I'm just trying to be objective. I have a feeling the DNA tests are going to lead us to more questions about Fancy's mental stability. Tell me what happened to her. Are you, are you all right? Yeah, what? Mother, what are you doing here at the hospital? Oh, oh God, that's right. You, you haven't heard about Fox. Um, what about Fox? Your brother, he's in surgery. He was the victim of a hit-and-run driver. Did you say Fox was run over? And that he's in surgery? Yes. It's horrible. Well, do they know who did it? They have a pretty good idea who the driver was. Wait, is Fox going to be all right? How bad were his injuries? It's really serious, honey. Well, you, you said you think you know who hit him. Who was it? It was your brother, Miguel. What? No, that can't be true. Wait, why would you think Miguel was the one who hit Fox? Because he was desperate. He wanted Fox out of the way so he could have Kay. Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. you have any proof? He told Kay that Fox was taken care of. And the headlight on his car, it's smashed. What is it with you Lopez Fitzgeralds? Every time a crane gets involved with one of you, disaster happens. Wait, that's not fair. Oh, it isn't? Ethan and Teresa, Sheridan and Luis, and now you and Luis? Well, what? Look what's happened. Well, Mother, Luis loves me. Then why wasn't he there to protect you? Why did he let you be attacked, raped? Not once, but twice. Where were you, Luis? Why didn't you protect her? What kind of a, a cop are you? What kind of a man are you? To allow this to happen to a woman that you supposedly love. I do love her. Then why can't you keep her safe? Please, if, if you know his name, tell me. Who attacked me? Yes, tell all of us, please. I want this monster arrested and I want him put away forever. What's his name? This is very difficult. Difficult? Why? I thought you said you had the man's identity. Yes, I did. I, I do. Well, if you do, then tell us who it is. Then please tell us. The DNA in the semen we collected from Fancy Crane belongs to you, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. What? Wait. No, no, that can't be true. 
You're not saying that Luis is the man that raped my niece. I'm sorry, the results are conclusive. Luis Lopez Fitzgerald is apparently the man who attacked you, Miss Crane. What? Oh, you bastard. Uh, no, hold on a second. Now, this doesn't make any sense. It's not right. No, that, that's not right. It's a mistake. It has to be. This is there any chance that these results can be wrong? No, no, there is no way. I, I double-checked it because I found it so hard to believe. The semen we took from Fancy Crane belongs to Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. Thank you.